Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Tukhi Sai, I am Mansi Verma and in today's video we are going to solve the question paper of science and technology part 1 revised code. Says set number hai N731 date 28th March 2020-22. So this is science and technology ka paper hai part 1 ka. जो कि आज 28 मार्च 2022 की डेट में हुआ है और इसमें जो मैंने आपको पहले सैंपल पेपर डाला था 2020 का उसके बेसिस पर ही ये पेपर आया है तो इसके सॉल्यूशंस देख लेते हैं इस वीडियो में ऑल क्वेश्चंस आर कंपलसरी टाइम था 2 आवर्स का मैक्सिमम मार्क्स 40 और हर क्वेश्चन के सामने उसके मार्क्स लिखे हुए हैं तो चलिए आंसर्स बता रही हूं फुल्ली सॉल्व करके आपको दूसरे वीडियो में दिखाऊंगी राइट द करेक्ट अल्टरनेटिव गोल्ड प्लेटेड ऑर्नामेंट्स इज द एग्जांपल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोप्लेने इलेक्ट्रोप्लेटिंग हियर इट इज रिटन प्लेटेड एंड द वर्ड इज रिजेंबलिंग टू दैट तो गोल्ड प्लेटिंग इज द करेक्ट आंसर द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ द सैटेलाइट लॉन्च व्हीकल इज बेस्ड ऑन न्यूटन्स थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन सी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन न्यूटन्स थर्ड लॉ ऑफ मोशन इज आल्सो नोन एज लॉ ऑफ एक्शन एंड रिएक्शन Phase number 3, third, is one of the combustible component of LPG. Propane is the right answer. Propane is one of the combustible component of LPG. Propane, B. Fourth, the power of a convex lens of, a, of focal length 25 cm is. Option A is the correct answer. It is also given in your textbook, lens chapter 7, page number 85. And here, how you have to find it? P is equal to 1 upon Fm. 21st, convert it into divided by 100 and 1 upon 0 0.25 here 100 upon 25 is equal to 4d so 4.0 d is the correct answer d the unit of the power of a lens is diopter so d is written for diopter next page page number four fifth color is deviated the least in the spectrum of white light obtained with a glass least means subse come to vib your violet indigo blue green yellow orange red so red is the least red option a is the correct answer violet is maximum red is least b parts of question b answer the following find the odd one out inside gsat irs they all are satellites and pslv is the satellite launcher full form of pslv is polar satellite launch vehicle third generation launch vehicle of india this is third generation launch vehicle of india pslv polar satellite launch vehicle so this is odd one out complete the correlation group one alkali metals halogens halogens group 17 it comes under group 17 of the periodic table page number seven also it is given on page number seven of your textbook halogens elements are what here it is not you have not to write it here but halogen elements are iodine fluorine chlorine bromine etc it is given on page number seven page number five match the correct pair column a with column b refractive index of water the correct answer is option c 1.33 is the refractive index of water 1.31 is for ice and 1.36 is the refractive index of alcohol so the correct answer is 1.33 Fourth, state true or false. An electric motor converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. This is false. Write the IUPAC name for the following structural formula. It is given in your textbook, chapter 9, page number 122. Let me show you the page number in my textbook. See here. CH3, CH, CH3, OH. Both the numberings, this is propane 2 OL. And here, see, it is space number 122. Some students say that, ma'am, your book number is changed and our chapter number is changed, our book number is changed, page number is changed. It is just because of the publishing of the book. My book is of revised course 2020. So, maybe the book, the book that you have may be of the different publishing, of the different year publishing. This is the book. Let us move on to the next question. Give scientific reasons any two. Page number six, question two. Atomic radius goes on increasing down a group. Atomic radi radius goes on increasing down a group as atomic size increases down the group because new shells are being added as we go down the group. Chapter two, it is taken from chapter two. Second question. Simple microscope is used for watch repairs. 
सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप इज यूज फॉर वॉच रिपेयर बिकॉज ए मैग्निफिकेशन ऑफ अबाउट ट्वेंटी टाइम्स इज ऑबटेन बाय द कॉन्वेक्स लेंस ऑफ ए स्मॉल फोकल लेंथ यूज इन ए माइक्रोस्कोप देयर फॉर इट इज यूज बाई वॉच रिपेयर टू सी द माइन्यूट पार्ट क्लियरली लेट एस मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन थर्ड इट इज रिकमेंडेड टू यूज एयर टाइट कंटेनर फॉर स्टोरिंग ऑयल फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम यू नो If we store oil in open containers for long time, they start smelling. So the process of oxidation reaction of oil can be slowed down by storing it in airtight containers. So we must use store in air store oil in airtight containers. It slows down the oxidation process. Let us move on to the next question B. Answer the following questions. Any three. Question five A, page number fifteen, chapter one. It is taken from there. Question number five A, page number fifteen, chapter one. Here I have given a solution of also. An object takes five seconds to reach the ground from a height of five meter on a plate. Planet five second लेता है ground पर पहुंचने के लिए पांच meter की height से कोई भी object. What is the value of g on the planet? If it is not clear here, you can just take the screenshot of the of this. G is equal to two upon five. You can also decrease it. G is equal to zero point four. The gravitational acceleration of the planet is zero point four meter. So Z is equal to two upon five. Next, draw a neat labeled diagram of Hope's apparatus. It is on page number sixty-five, chapter five, picture five point five. Let me show you. See here, five point five Hope's apparatus. This is the diagram of Hope's apparatus. Here it is question B. Draw a neat labeled diagram of Hope's apparatus, page number six. So here it is in your textbook at page number sixty-five. Page number sixty-five, Hope's diagram, Hope's apparatus. Let us move on to the next question. State the laws of refraction, chapter six, page number seventy-four. There you will get all the laws of refraction. See here, page number seventy-four. And here, laws of refraction. One, two. So you can write it from here. Next question. Answer the following. Name the main ore of aluminium. Main ore of aluminium is bauxite. ये page number one hundred three पे भी given है chapter eight. Name the main ore of aluminium. Bauxite is the main ore of aluminium. Second, what impurities are present in aluminium ore? This is also given on page number one hundred three, chapter eight. Silica, ferric acid, and titanium oxide are present in the bauxite, and they are uh, leaching process used for cleaning them. And gang is also you can write gang also. Let us move on to the next question, page number seven upon nine seven three one. Observe the given figure of Fleming's left hand rule and write the labels of A and B. I told you in the sample paper of 2020 that mag the, there it was given Fleming's right hand rule, and I told you to just go through the left hand rule. And here, see here, it is given left hand rule. Direction of magnetic field you have to write in box A. Direction of magnetic field, and in the box B you have to write direction of magnetic current. If you have written current here and field here, then your answer is wrong. You have to write field here. Direction of magnetic field and direction of magnetic current. If you have written only field and only current, then too it is okay. But current should be in box B and field should be in a box A. Move on to the next question. Answer the following any any five, fifteen marks any five any five questions you have to do. Write the demerits of Mendeleev's periodic table. Page number two, chapter two. You will find all the demerits of Mendeleev's Mendeleev's periodic table. It is page number twenty, not two. Page number twenty, chapter two. See here, page number twenty, and top, top demerits of Mendeleev's periodic table. Question three one twenty twenty two. यानी कि दो हजार पाँच में ये आया है आपका. Page number twenty पे दिया गया है. Given है ये. Next question. State the laws related to the given diagram. तो so, Kepler's first law, Kepler's second law, and Kepler's third law. The orbit of a planet moving around the sun. Page number three, page number three, chapter one. See here. This is your board question and this is your textbook. Page number three. And here, Kepler's first law, Kepler's second law, and Kepler's third law. This is the solution. Page number three. 
नेक्स्ट आइडेंटिफाई द टाइप ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन गिवन बिलो ए सी यू एस ओ फोर प्लस एफ ई प्लस एफ ई एस ओ फोर प्लस सी यू दिस इज डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन टू एम जी प्लस ओ टू टू एम जी ओ ए रिएक्टेंट कंबाइंस विद ऑक्सीजन सो दिस इज ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज कॉम्बिनेशन रिएक्शन दिस इज गिवन ऑन पेज नंबर फोर्टी वन चैप्टर थ्री कॉम्बिनेशन रिएक्शन और ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन एनी वन इफ यू हैव रिटन दैन इट इज ओके पेज नंबर फोर्टी वन दिस वन इज गिवन ऑन पेज नंबर फोर्टी वन टू के सी एल ओ थ्री टू के सी एल प्लस थ्री ओ टू दिस इज डी कंपोजिशन रिएक्शन डी कंपोजिशन फोर्थ इफ द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इन मीडियम इज वन पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टेन टेन इज टू पावर एट मीटर पर सेकेंड वॉट इज द एब्सोल्यूट रिफ्रेक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ द मीडियम दिस इज एग्जाम्पल टू क्वेश्चन फोर क्यू पेज नंबर सेवेंटी नाइन चैप्टर सिक्स हियर आई हैव गिवन ए सोल्यूशन टू V is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. C is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8. Masses n is equal to 7. N is equal to C upon V. 3 into 10 upon it. Cut, cut. 1.5 to the 3. So the answer is 2. This is the absolute refraction index of the median. Is equal to 2 is the answer. Fourth, five, fifth. Read the following paragraph and answer the questions based on it. you have to read this paragraph given here then you have to answer these questions heat is transferred from where to where heat is transferred from hot bodies to cold bodies it is written here hot, between a hot and cold object it means from hot bodies to cold bodies next question is which principle do we learn about from this process in this process the cold object gains heat energy and the hot object loses heat energy so we learn the change in temperature or you can simply says that the hot body gains he, lo, uh, uh, cold bo object gains energy from hot object how will you state the principle briefly heat exchange this is the principle of heat exchange move on to the next question let us move on to the next question complete the following table for convex lens this table is given in your textbook on page number 83 chapter number 7 let me show you so see here Page number eighty-three. This is images formed by convex lenses for different positions of the object. So you will get all the answers here. The ans given in paper as well as given in the paper and extra also you will get. So here I have written all the answers beyond two F one between F two and two F two, and you will get real and inverted like that. Just take a screenshot and also go through the chapter seven, page number eighty-three for details. Move on to the next. Explain the following terms. You have to write the definition of all these three. Metallurgy. It is taken from chapter eight, page number ninety-nine. This is also from page chapter eight. This is also from chapter eight. And just see here. Metallurgy. The science and technology regarding the extraction of metals from ores and their purification for this, for the use is called metallurgy. Ore. Ores are naturally occurring rocks that contain metals or metal compounds in sufficient amount. to make it worth while extracting them gang the worthless rock or vein matter or vein matter in which valuable metals or minerals occur so this is these are the definitions of metallurgy ore and gang let us move on to the next question state the importance of space mission see here the here is the answer the use of satellites can give us advance alerts about various natural calamities this is calamities so that we can take proper precautions during war aerial surveillance can be used to get information about the enemy actions also possible to explore the fossil 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 reserves and minerals in earth so this is the answer of state the importance of space mission so till here we have done next question Answer any one of the following question. Observe the following diagram and answer the questions given below. This is electric generator, not electric motor. Let me show you the image. See here, this is the same diagram, page number sixty, chapter four, electric generator. Now let us go to the book. See here, page number sixty. Go upside. Electric generator. This is electric generator. and not the not electric motor see here electric motor is also same but it has switch here and 
generator does not have switch and the diagram given in your book does not have any switch here. So, this is electric generator. Move on to the next. Identify the above diagram. So, the, uh, this is clear electric generator. Write the principle on which the above appliance work. This is Fleming's right hand rule is applicable for electric generator. Some sub students were saying this is electromagnetic induction. So, Faraday's law is used for electromagnetic induction. So, this is Flamingo's right, Flamingo's right hand rule. Next, write the working of the above appliance. You have to write the working of above appli appliance. Also, you will get the working on page number 60, chapter 4. Th there you will get in detail all the working of this electric generator. Next, write the use of the above appliance, appliance to produce electricity or current and electricity and current is required for all, everywhere, for aircraft, ships, trains, automobiles, even in our house, everywhere we need current. Page number 11 and set number 731, identify saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons from the given structural formula. Chapter 9, page number 114. This is structural saturated and this is unsaturated. C2H6, C2 double bonding, carbon C2 double bonding H4, C2H4, unsaturated hydrocarbon and this is saturated hydrocarbon. Draw electron dot structure for 1 and 2. See here, this is C2. H4, C4, C2, H6, see here, it is given, page number, see, it is given on page number 114, 2022, hydrocarbon saturated and unsaturated, and here it is given electron dot, the second question, draw electron dot structure for 1 and 2 and define homologous series. This is on page number 118 chapter 9 and this is on page number 114 chapter 9. See here, C2 H6, one carbon has 4 electrons. See here, we have given 4 dots, 4 electrons and H has 1, so 1 for H. Here again, C2, here they have given double bond, so we have here double and 4 dots for 4 electrons here and also given the same in your textbook. See here, here it is given. These dots are for electrons and these two are for double bond. So, move on to the next question and see this homologous series on page number 18, 118, x 18. See here 118 and see here homologous series. This is the answer. The series of compounds formed by joining the same functional group in the place of a particular hydrogen atom on the chains having sequentially increasing length is called homologous series. From here till here is the answer. So, your complete paper is done. If you like this video, please like it, share it with your friends and do subscribe my channel M2K Sign for all the solutions of all the papers appearing. Completing in 2020-22. Thank you very much.